What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes in Waterford, Michigan, where today we're gonna take out, now you just saw the Quantum Solid, now we're gonna take the Quantum EVO Pearl. Same layout, 45 by four and a half by 45, same lane, just after the solid went down the lane, we're gonna take it out here and we're gonna see what it's got here in a minute, stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at your Quantum EVO Pearl. Again, like I said, same layout, pen just above the bridge. Mass bias, just a little bit over by the thumb. 45 by four and a half by 45. We're gonna try and do the same thing we did with the solid version. See if we can't get it to go up the lane a little bit. See how clean, how much cleaner this one is. And keep in mind, sometimes a pearl, that just because it's a pearl doesn't mean it's always cleaner. Uh, sometimes the certain pearl reactive cover socks can be more responsive to friction, which most of them are. But uh, just because it's cleaner, or a pearl cover stock doesn't mean it's going to get through dry faster or better. It might mean it actually responds off of it quicker. You never know. Some are different. So we're going to start with our feet around 20, just like we did with the Quantum Solid. We're going to look at 8, 9, 10. Try to get her up the lane. That was actually real similar to what the Solid one did. Oh, that was pretty good. Cleared through there nice and clean. Didn't do anything crazy off the dry. Didn't overreact. Didn't bounce down lane. Meaning it didn't overhook or look like if somebody kicked it left. So now again, we're just gonna go three left. It's gonna be like a three and two. Still rolling it, still up the back. You can definitely see how much more this one clears the front because the EVO solid had no chance in that spot. It forced me to go a little further left and then start to get my hand around it. This one might allow me to stay rolly a little bit more because it'll preserve some energy. And again, let me explain that for you. I know I did it last video, but when I'm uh, talking about being rolly with my hand position or more forward up the back my hand i'm starting in this position and trying to stay more like in that position when i want to start rotating my hand around it i then start to a i'll tilt it and bring this one in and then i'll bring my fingers towards me so now i'm here and i can rotate around the side of it rather than when i'm here it's just rotate through the back up the back <clears throat> so now let's finish the five board move now we're standing on 25 we're going to try to hit like 13-ish. This is clearing that spot really nicely because we're in that high friction zone now, that high traction where a lot of people are always in this area. So you normally see a lot of early hook in the middle of the lane right there. There's two tracked up zones in this place and it's right there you know, between 12 and 15. And then the other one is between 17 and like 20. And just right in those areas are where a lot of people like to play because they always jump from, you know, 12, 13, 14, and then they move all the way into 18, 19 usually. So now we're gonna move five more left. I'm gonna keep my hand rolling it. And now we're gonna be into that 16, 17 range. This should two pin. I uh, tried to, but we got into the swish zone. So, I mean, if anything, I could get my hand around it just a little bit more from there, or just a little bit, period, because I'm not around it at all right now. And I could get it to face up and be high flush from there. We'll try it. You see, in the same spot. And all I did is went from here to now I'm going to go here, just a little bit, and rotate around it. Now, I haven't got a little bit further right, but you can see it faced up and went through the pins just a little bit better. 
so it got there which is the point of being able to rotate your hand around it so that was pretty nice that was good so now we'll keep our hand around it a little bit and we'll just keep going left see how it responds to down lane reaction or if it has down lane reaction so we're going to go move to 35 with my feet now we're going to look at 18 19 Tilt it just a little bit. This is responding really, really nicely. So, I mean, this is going to be a great one to punch from the solid to this one because this one's a little cleaner. Um, probably the same type of shape down lane, to be honest. If anything, the Pearl maybe has a little bit more get up and go, but not much. They really look similar. It's just a little cleaner through the front. Now we're gonna stand on 40. Now we'll look at eh, 20, 21. Rotate it around it again. This thing is really doing the right thing. This really likes when you get your hand around it because it sees the dry and it just rolls off of it and it goes dead through the pens, straight through the left. I haven't seen any deflection yet. I really didn't see any deflection out of any of these, really. Um, the solid version, even, until I got in front of the ball return, I, you know, I flat 10 finally. But, I mean, it was such a steep angle. Which now we're going to get next to the ball return. See, so now we'll get to 22, 23-ish. That one started to pick up a little quick. That one, I don't think I did quite the right thing with my hand. I got my hand to like a little forward, which makes it stand up just a little bit quicker. So I got to make sure I keep my hand around it enough. Otherwise, we're not going to see the right reaction. So I'm going to try that again. I'm just going to try to throw it better. Make sure it gets to the right. Make sure my hand's around it. better there's deflection now we saw deflection <clears throat> but i think if i get that a little bit further right than that you don't see the deflection because now it hits the dry and it goes dead through the left dead through the pins yep bev's here yeah, okay go help her all right so let's get in front of the ball return now and see if we can't get it to go through the pins now the solid version got through the pins next to the ball return so but it did not in front so let's see what this one's got now from further in wow that one actually picked up really nice really nice i tilted that one really high so i'm gonna try it again and get it further right and see if see what it does Twirl it to the right. That's a good one. That one gets through the pins a little bit better. So that's what we like to see. You get your hand to do the right thing. This, this one wasn't as good hand position with the hand position as the solid one was, but that's okay. Still pretty good. All right, there is the Quantum EVO Pearl. Now, how sick is that combination gonna be between the solid version and the Pearl version, especially when you get on a little bit of volume, be able to go from that solid to the Pearl when you need something just a pinch cleaner. It's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So uh, another ASIM Pearl that'll probably find its way in my bag. Um, I've got stuff like, uh, uh, like my Dark Code that is really, really good in there. Um, that's really the only ASIM Pearl that I really keep around. Um, because it's the only one that doesn't stop on me. This might be the second one. This one's going to be a little bit smoother than what the dark code is. So maybe a little bit further right, this one comes into play. And then I go dark code when I need to get even further left. And then I can go Zen, you know, RSTX2, stuff like that. I guess RSTX2 is technically asymmetric. Um, but again, that one was too clean. That one I ended up taking out of my bag because it was too clean and too angular at times. And it would be too stoppy if I opened my angle up too much. 
not quite what I'm looking for. Um, so dark code still fits that hole. Uh, oh yeah, and then there's the altered reality that's coming in too that I'm gonna be putting in my bag. So that's a three ball setup there. So we've got this, then the dark code, and then when I really need something to go even further left with, I have the altered reality. The altered reality circles the entire lane, but this quantum pearl is gonna be really good when I'm like right of 25. I know that's probably gonna be most times, so that's a good sign. That means I'm gonna use this ball a lot. Um, but if you wanna get one of yours, Hit the description, hit the link in the description. We'll get you one sent over from BowlerX.com. Otherwise, come up over here to BowlerX Training Center and Pro Shop, and we'll take care of you here. I'll get you out here, find your PAP, find all your numbers, and see what we gotta do to get the proper layout for you. Or I will just put the same layout on it because you can see how versatile it is for me. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you today. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe, comment below. Uh, and until next time, see you guys later. Oh, and go follow me on TikTok. Go check out J.R. Raymond on TikTok. We got sad stuff. We got happy stuff. We got funny stuff and we got a lot of bowling stuff. So go check it out. See what you got. Comment, like, and I'll do all that stuff on that as well. Um, but until next time, I'm out of here. See you guys later.